just 60 miles from Washington, D.C., is one of America's most celebrated small towns, Harpers Ferry. Situated between the beautiful Potomac and Shenandoah Rivers is the Towns Inn. My wife, Anna, and I bought the inn for my mom back in 2007. We wanted it to be a good investment, but we also bought more with our hearts than our heads. I think it's the type of woman who's happiest when she's working, so we figured this would be a good place for her to work and enjoy um, the season of life that she's in. I'm a grandmother, so it's kind of grandmother's house. And I'm here mainly because I've retired from teaching. I love historical properties and decided that being an innkeeper would be a fun thing for the rest of my life. The Towns Inn is probably kind of like a circus. Karen's the ringleader, and you never know what's going to happen next. Working for Karen is interesting. It's frustrating. She's pretty set in her ways, and it's her way or the highway. I think what makes someone a good mom isn't necessarily what makes someone a good boss or a good business owner. Karen, as a businesswoman, she don't have no experience, and it's awful. Karen treats this place as both her business and her home, but more her home. I mean, her bedroom was in her office. You know, she'd sleep right there, pretty much in the dining room. I have asked Karen, is this your home or restaurant or is it an inn? You can't have it all three ways and expect to make money. Karen is absolutely a hoarder. Karen hoards her clothes, old shoes, books, baskets. Don't even get me started on those damn baskets. There's baskets everywhere. You could open a closet in a hotel room and see a pile of baskets. You could walk in our server area, open the fridge, and I bet there'd be a basket there because they're literally everywhere. Karen's in denial of what's wrong. She needs to separate herself from this place or things aren't gonna change. We are suffering, we are in debt, and the customers are going away. While we don't want to sell the Towns Inn, I think we're certainly at a crossroads of just saying, is this becoming overwhelming for my mom? You know, she's not getting any younger, and it's just, it could be a potential train wreck. So if the ship is sinking, then we want to make sure we get our mom off of the boat before it sinks. Wow, look at this place. Gorgeous. Fresh food. Wow. Nice to see you. Karen Townsend. Karen, good to see you. I'm glad oh, you're what here. A gorgeous little town. Does it remind you um, of your, uh, well, Isn't it kind of the quaint it village? It reminds me of a movie set. I mean, it's just it's been used literally. For that many times. Has it really? Yeah. Wow. Okay, I'm interested to have, have a quick look here. round and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I'll follow you. Okay. Um, What's all this out here? What is that? Oh, that's just for watering the plants. Yeah, and we get a lot of hikers, and wow. it rains here sometimes. What is that? Well, who knows? It's been here a oh. long time. It, but it's like Freddy Krueger's hat. <laughs> who, 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 who's this, this? It's just there for anybody that wants to borrow oh, it. Oh, I see. And does anyone borrow that, Karen? No, they haven't no. yet. <laughs> Interesting. Another one as well. And what, are these <laughs> they're in use? They're for sale. They're, oh, they're for sale? Yeah, see? Summer hats. How much are these? Three, three, to, three to 20. Three? Depends. And this is how much? Uh, maybe not more. Whatever you want to offer. Well, We're very flexible. I'm not too sure if this is my style. And, uh, ooh, that's dusty That's there. a pretty special one. Um, why is it so special? Because it's got... Full of dust. Yeah, West Virginia. Uh, and this much... is almost heaven. How much is that one? It's whatever you offer. Are these secondhand? No, not that. Right. Some things are, but not that. <laughs> Man, it's your business. Are you okay. selling many? Are you, are you busy? No. We don't really sell a lot of hats. I see. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello. You've got customers in already. Hello. This is my Hi, friend customer. Sarah. Mm -hmm. Sarah. Oh. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, well, good to see you. Nice are you, you. you joining us for lunch today, or are you...? I have no idea. I'm up to whatever. I'm here, I do... Um... What does that mean? She's just a family friend. Oh, fan, a, OK, right. So you're not a customer. Person. I'm so sorry, right? I'm not a customer. Is this a convenience store, or...? This is a is dining it... room. Wow, I mean, it's very claustrophobic in here. It is. Bits and bobs of everything. And those um, freaky dolls, well, what are they for? they are sort of uh, souvenirs. Oh, are you selling lots? We do, mm-hmm. Wow, a bit dusty. A lot of people who come here have children. They're looking for something to take back. What about this one here, the collector's choice? How much is this one? I think 25. <laughs> Jesus, so dusty. I didn't know they were for sale. You didn't know they're for sale? How much does this room make a month? Um, 
I can't give you an exact figure because we record right. the purchases in with the restaurant sales. Yeah. But I would say 15% of sales. 15%? Mm-hmm. Who drinks all this cider? Uh, no, actually, we use that in the restaurant. Jeez. Well, but we sell a lot of it. It's good in the summer, June, July, and August. Now, my daughter made those. Right. Uh, what are they? They're little hats for little children. It's full of dust and hair. And what's this? Hot pads. Handmade. Hot pads? Mm-hmm. Is that $60? Who buys this? People with children. I hope people with children. <laughs> That's full of dust inside. Well, you have to wash it before you use it. Look. And um, what's this? Uh, this made... is Sarah's journal. So she keeps a journal? Yeah. Wow. So it's, uh, it's almost like a novel. It is. And she puts sermon notes and telephone numbers and prices, wow. and she calls it her brain. Oh, public bathroom, decorate with baskets. Yeah, wow. she decorated the baskets up in my washroom. Oh. Oh, dear. OK. Wow. So, um... All right. What's that there? That, that is a bottle holder. You can put, like, a water bottle in oh. it. So it's, it does appeal wow. to hikers. I thought it was a bicycles. jock strap. Do you know what that is? Oh, you know, it could... It looks uh, like a jock yeah. strap. I hadn't thought of that, well, but you got a point. <laughs> what's that down this, there? That's our bread. And then behind that is the closet where our potatoes are kept. But are, are, the, are the loaves for sale, too? If someone asks for them. And hikers do sometimes, but normally it's, um, it's just for the breakfast. We have toast. Are you expecting a lot of people? That's how much we go through in a few days, believe it or not. Really? Unfortunately, they're out of date as well. We couldn't. Are you serious? Second of November. OK, you're right. Today's the 6th. Oh, that's very embarrassing. Yeah. Let's go to my, uh, my room. What is that? Oh, these are my famous baskets. Baskets? Yeah, I love baskets and I collect them. Beautiful baskets for sale. Prices vary from $1 to $30. Stop it. $30? Well, so... Man! Some of them are very unique. You're telling me that families come in here and they mm -hmm. go for a hike and they buy these baskets on the way mm -hmm. to the mountains. Mm -hmm. Stop. This one's full of bugs. I guess I wouldn't buy that one, would you? $12. Mm -hmm. And that's with the cockroaches. We don't charge extra. Wow, that was $12.99. It's reduced down to $5. Oh, bugs in there as well. Bloody hell. Did you get them as gifts and then resell them? Uh, no, I just buy them when I find them places. Oh, what in the them. hell is that? It's an Easter basket. Ah, that's an Easter basket. Mm -hmm. Fucking hell, poor bunny. And how much is that? $1. Yep. Well, can you go any lower? Nope. Huh? We don't deal in cents. Ay, ay, ay. Karen, you're starting to scare me. Seriously, you are a basket case. That's what a good point. <laughs> Honestly, there's dust everywhere up here as well. When was the last time this place was dusted? Uh, theoretically, every day. Every Oh, every day? Yeah. This is my yeah. room named this after is the Potomac river. river. Wow. Bloody hell. Oh, dear. And this is it. Wow. Uh, wow. We have five rooms. This one is 130. Oh, Oops. oh, shit. <laughs> what? What? What happened it's... there? You're taller than I am. See how he just lays up there on the on top of the. No, see there you go. The pole is too short, my darling. Look. So. There see... you go. <laughs> Look, that's there. And this has been here since 2007, and it's never right. fallen down. Oh, really? Flip it now. OK. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, OK. Let's leave them there for now. Let's get some light in here. OK, I'm going to unpack and... Yeah, oh. that's private. What do you mean it's private? This is my bedroom. Uh, well, but this is off-limits. It's got a lock on it. It's like a storage closet. But if I'm paying for the room, I'd like to get into my wardrobe. Well, you're not paying for that. You're paying for everything else. Well, then... Really? <laughs> We've got these little things you can put your suitcase on. But in what's in here? My clothes. Your clothes? Mm -hmm. Seriously? Seriously. So it's you... very inconvenient when there are people here and I can't get to my clothes, but I live with it. Um, I want to hang my clothes oh. in my wardrobe. 1840. We, we use hooks. Hooks? Mm-hmm. Uh, why don't you get me a key to open this? I need to hang my, uh, my jacket. Um, you'll just have to use a hook. <laughs> Um, once again, this is a rental. You're renting me a room. I'm here to help you, and I'd like to use my wardrobe. Mm -hmm. Can um, I have a look inside then, please? Because I'm just worried in case you put somebody in there. There you go. <laughs> These are all your clothes? Mm -hmm. Literally all. 
That's it? That's it. Well, there's a few jackets in the wardrobe upstairs. So you have another... Right above wardrobe. us is another room. And another room that you mm -hmm. rent out with a padlock on. Mm -hmm. Come on. You're paying $130 for the owner's clothes to stay in the wardrobe. That's a first for me. Congratulations. I feel really uncomfortable at having my wardrobe full of all your clothes. I'll... I can cover it up, but it stays locked, so you can just ignore it. Can I just have half of this, then? Do you mind? Oh, OK. Um, Shelly? Shelly? <laughs> How much shit can one get <laughs> into the water? Gordon wanted uh, you to bring some of those clothes and things down. Just put them in my office, OK? <laughs> Oh, my. Uh, oh, my. Do you see Karen wearing this stuff? No, Karen wears about two outfits. What do you mean she wears two outfits? I've never seen her in anything other than what she's wearing in denim and beige. It's like garments from the Civil War. And do you ever go through this stuff, Karen? Do you ever think, wow, I'll change colour today, maybe a bright colour with red or blue? Seasonally. Seasonally. Mm -hmm. So this is your fall look now? This is, this is how we head into winter? In the summer, it's usually denim. Or a beige. Denim. OK, so no, no white after Labor Day, then? Never. Never. OK, thank you. Thank you. No problem. <sighs> wow, this is crazy. I mean, I've never met such a basket case like this in all my life. I mean, the place is cluttered. And it's almost like her belongings are everywhere. You turn left or right, there's either a basket or an item of Karen's clothing. What is that? Ugh. Oh. Pillowcases. What's in here? Looks like a blanket. More baskets. More baskets, of course. My room is cluttered. And here, look at that in there. Oh my god. Look at all this stuff. Fuck. <laughs> How could you fit all that in there? That is um definitely took skill. Where is she? Downstairs in the Ask her to come up with you, please. This is insane. Karen? Yes. Karen? Yes. Uh, look at all this stuff. Shoes, handbags, scarves. Just smell them. Oof. It smells like my shoes. <laughs> but they stink, my darling. They reek. You can't Let smell. Let me smell your shoes. You no, they, smell they, they, smell, they smell like. Um, like my shoes, yeah. They shouldn't be in my room. Mm -hmm. Well, like I said, in my mind, you rented everything except this wardrobe, which I like. Well, you didn't tell me that when like you took my money. Was... You didn't ask. Uh... And what about these? Those are extra sets of linens. Yeah, but uh, why do I want all them underneath my bed? Now, you don't need to be under the bed, do you? But we'll get this out for you, and I'll just put it downstairs. Right. Please. Unbelievable. I just want to sleep in a room that's not clustered. Uh, oh. Watch your step. Watch out. I have never experienced a place like this before. Dolls, hats, baskets full of bugs, a wardrobe full of the owner's clothes. To be honest, I'm frightened about the meal I'm about to eat. There. What is that? That looks like a little something that. Can I buy this? Absolutely. Chopsticks? Why would you go hiking with a fucking pair of chopsticks? And a little wooden spoon. I'll take that. You can add it to my towel. Brenda, I'm seating um, Gordon. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> right here. I'm going to start you with an ice water, okay? Yes, okay. And Brenda's going to be. How for... often does that thing go through? Once an hour at least. Yeah. Any chance it can go through the hotel? Nah, I wouldn't think so. No. What is going on? Jesus Christ. The town's in of Harpers Ferry, almost heaven. Certainly not my room, that's for sure. Hey, how you doing? How are you, buddy? Hey, all right, good Lamont to see you. Um, First name is? Lamont. Lamont, good to see you. What do you do? Uh, a little bit of everything. Big question. Where do you store your clothes? Oh, do I have any of your clothes in my room? Oh, no, no, sir. No, because no, we're the same size. Oh, no. <laughs> Shoes under no, the bed? I promise. No. Toys under the bed? None of mine. Promise me? I promise. Excellent. I, I promise. Way. Yes, sir. Good to see and you. Nice to meet you. Likewise. All right. Are you ready? Nice to see you. How long have you been here? Two years. Two years. 
How's it gone? It's a little frustrating sometimes. In which way? Miss Karen is just very chaotic. She's eccentric. Wow. Yeah. We have to knock on her door when we come in and let her know we're here. Right. And sometimes she'll slam the door in your face, or you never know what you're going to get. Really? She, yeah. I've never quite come across an owner uh, that is right, right. so out there. And all this stuff outside. It's is that a home. fridge outside? That's our um, kitchen products. Outside? Outside. Yes. And this fridge here? That is for the owner's stuff. They keep their food in there. Stop it. No. Look, he's going to go look. Oh, my God. Stop. Let me move this. Seriously? Oh, I'm scared. What is that? What is that? What is that? I have no idea. Jesus. I don't know. That is gnarly, huh? Gnarly. He said that's gnarly. So you have your own personal fridge as well? Yeah? Yeah. Outside? Well, there's no room inside, yeah. OK, and what's that over there? Over there? It, yeah. This is where we store our produce. This is for the restaurant? Yes. Seriously? Look at that. Ugh. Oh. Oh, man. I can show you the receipts that we buy. But, but fresh I'm not interested in the receipts. Fresh every week or every season? Yeah. No, touch it. Week. I don't want to touch it. You don't want to touch it? No. But you want to serve it? Karen, look, it's disintegrated but in my hands. I don't hands. Even want to touch it. More fridges down there? Yeah. This way. Bloody hell. Man. How old are these freezers? This one's this... about three years old. No. When was the last time it was defrosted? I don't know. Bloody hell. And all this stuff stays outside? Yeah. Jesus, what's and that's in here? A, a fridge. Uh, so that's Shit. more like a fridge. So it's a fridge operating. We use it as a fridge. Mm -hmm. But there's more bread in here. Yeah. Uh, this is how much we need. We keep running out of stuff. You do not need all this. Absolutely impossible. But what's I'll that? I'll ask the egg rolls. Egg rolls. Mm -hmm. But you're just hoarding stuff, Karen. And that? Do you smoke? I don't. I've never smoked it's disgusting. In my life. Me neither. I tried when I was 17. Sausage brats. This is insane. You've never smoked cigarettes. Anything else? I graduated from high school in 67 and that kind of marijuana, but I took one puff and it made me sick and I just. All right. Um, you know, I was hungry, but I've sort of uh, lost your lost appetite. My, uh, let's start off with mac and cheese. Okay. What else? The fiesta stew. Okay. Uh, let's have a trout as well. A trout. Okay. Okay. Thanks. I'll get that going. Right back. Oh my God. Okay. Here's his ticket. Okay. Look. That's how he ordered it. So mac and cheese. Yeah. Are these yours? Yes. Well, I bought them. Oh, from my store. From your store. <laughs> okay. No wonderful, I like it. Oh. So mac and cheese. Thank you, ma'am. The mac wow. and cheese. That's mac and cheese? That's the mac and cheese. Uh, why is it all split on top? It looks like a soup. It was in the fridge, and then they microwaved it. He's scared to eat it. That is the weirdest and the most plastic-looking mac and cheese I've ever seen in my entire life. There's no seasoning in there. There's no okay, salt. You know, please. Okay. Absolutely. That deserves to be put under the bed. Mac and cheese. He said it needs to be put under the bed. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Now we're off to Fiesta Stew. Fiesta Stew. So we have a Mexican-themed stew. Correct. And um, when was the Fiesta Stew made? I can go ask. Please. Hey, Jill, when was the Fiesta stew made? What's the date on it? Let me check. 11 1. Okay. November 1st. Uh, and the, today, today's the 6th. Today's six. the 6th. Six. Six. Yes. So nothing's ever fresh? Mm, never. <laughs> That's terrible. Do you want some hot sauce? No, no, no I'm fine. Okay. I'll, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll move on to the next course. I'm going to take that away. Okay. When was this uh, caught? <laughs> oh. Oh. Yesterday, at 20 miles away. Yeah, level. yeah, yeah. All right. Trout. And Jeff said he caught it yesterday. So he caught it from the and frozen food section. Correct. Wow. It's just watery. Mm. How sad is that? 
Okay. Yeah. That's a disaster. Disaster. All right. Disaster trout. It's disaster trout. What's wrong with it? It's watery, and he knows it wasn't caught yesterday or today. Sarah, what are you doing? Putting labels, um, magnet labels. What, do not eat? No, I'm putting ice cream. You're putting labels on a freezer to tell the Muppets in the kitchen that that's ice cream in that container. Kieran had asked me to do it. And when you work here, Miss Sarah, do you get paid or are you on the payroll? Oh, no, I'm not on the payroll. It's all volunteer. I visit a lot because I'm semi-retired right now. Also, this is my mini bio. Wow, blood yes, drives. Sir. I run blood drives every two months. Right. Wikipedia editor? Mm-hmm, I've done that. Wow, you write art, travel, tutor, acronyms. You teach Greek. I do. Inspire, loyalty. <laughs> You're a busy lady. Yes, sir. And then... Um, and then I run circles around naughty problems. So, um, I run circles around naughty problems. Yeah, like, well, if there's something that needs to be figured out, I yeah. try and figure out a way to solve the issue. How about but... a big circle around Karen? I try to do that. I may I just a quick look at the labels? And any other any other labels? Sure. Cheesecake, just things. Chicken breasts, guacamole, veggie burgers, tortillas. And you just stick them on the side of the freezer. Yes. Let me tell you what you should be making a sign. That's the only thing that should go on there. Do not enter. Ooh. That's brutal. Can you put that on a magnet and stick that on each freezer? And one on Miss Karen's fridge as well. Thank you. Fuck me. The Towns Inn is much worse than I expected. The owner not only has a hoarding problem with her clothes, but she's doing the same with her food. Um, Lamont. Yes, sir. Why are you taking these? Uh, she wanted me to remove these until she can but find I, something else to do I with I only it. took out one bag uh, yeah. in my wardrobe. Where's the rest of them from? Um, I have no idea. No. I just noticed she had clothes upstairs and she asked me to move them. <laughs> Lamont, seriously? Mm-hmm. Go and get her for me, please. Sir. Holy shit. I mean. <laughs> Sarah, he said he wanted to talk to you. Okay. Miss Karen? Yes. Is this, is this all yours? That's what came from what? the wardrobe. Another wardrobe? No, 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 the one that you emptied. No, I had one bag full of stuff. No, this but, is the stuff that was in the black wardrobe but, in your room. But where's this stuff going now? To his basement to till I can sort his it out. His basement? Mm-hmm. Because yeah. I don't have any place to store it here. What is it? It's my clothes. clothes. Her clothes. The things that came out of the black wardrobe that we keep locked up in the Potomac room. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever ask Where yourself if you have a problem holding on to things? <laughs> have you ever heard of the word hoarder? Miss Karen, this is your business. This is your hotel, not your junk shop. Mm -hmm. Can you get the team out from the kitchen? I'd like to have a quick word with you all in the terrace. Yes, sir. Um, good luck with that stuff. Yes, sir. Yeah? Yes, sir. Uh, Miss Thank Karen, you. can we meet the team on the yes, terrace? Sir. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six bags. You want to check the things for bugs as well. I'm in shock. Are you joining us, Miss Sarah, yes, or are you sir. still writing labels? No, I'm not writing labels. No, anymore. let's go. I arrive, the facade of the outside looks beautiful. I walk through the door and it's just like a cluster of shit. Crap everywhere. Moldy bread in a reception, freaky dolls, up to the bedrooms that's like just hideous. Wardrobes packed with clothes from 30 years ago. And I had to ask Miss Karen to get rid of the padlock so I can open up the wardrobe and put my clothes in there. Honestly, the place is just ridden with, with this, it's like a hoarder's anonymous. Obviously, I needed a place to put my clothes, and so that was where I, I put them. You can't just hive off a wardrobe because it's full of your crap. Like you I said, I've, um, it's just a storage area. No, but it's not a storage, a storage area, area, just like your fridge yeah. downstairs. This place is played with junk on top of junk, freezers, overbearing, overfull. And as for the disgusting way that the fridge is kept with a mouldy salad. There's salad that's festered and it's like, it's almost sort of disintegrating the center, rotten. Can I just quickly go on the size of the menu? It's too big. The kitchen's about as big as my wardrobe. It's too, it's But why are you telling me that when the owner's standing next to you? I told her that, but we, we, we have told her. Mm -hmm. She won't listen. 
mac and cheese all separated, every mouth was full of grease because it was so cooked in the microwave. And that's the way we do it. People say that we, we've got the best food in town and the freshest. Oh, stop there. Now you're sounding slightly oh, bizarre. Just... The best food in town? Are you OK? Well, it depends on how you define OK. I'm OK by, sure? by my standards. But mac and cheese, I mean, come on. You know, what, what are you looking for now? Are you taking Not notes? Done. Yeah. Are you taking notes? Yeah, you're making some good what? points. And you're laughing. What's so funny, then? Help me to understand. I don't have anything to do with the food. So I don't know what you're doing. I've got no idea what you're doing. What I ask her to, basically. So she does what you say? She, she helps me, yeah. Jeff, is this correct? I tell him to do one thing, and Sarah tells him to do one thing. Miss Sarah tells you what? She just... And... She said she's a volunteer. She tells my crew what to do, and it pisses me off. I get, I get mad, then they blame it on but me. She's because... got no authority to do that. I know. Jeff, but... you've never talked to me about this. I have told Wait you. A minute. I have told you about this. Is this, is this true? Is this where you treat the staff? Nothing more humiliating to the team that are on the ground, keeping this place open, and then a stranger comes in and tells them what to do. Well, she's not a stranger. She's been coming to here. To them, she is, because she's not exactly qualified to run this place. This is so screwed up. This is bizarre. Ain't nobody hearing me what I'm saying. And what kind of message are you sending? The menu needs to be down. A menu like this? There must be 50 items on there, which 49 of them are well, turfed out of the bloody freezer. This place is so messed up. It's a mess, a disgusting, festering mess. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. I don't know. I'm just so fucking embarrassed. I know. I know. I know. So far, I've learned that not only does Karen hoard items, but she's also a controlling owner. Tonight, I want to see how the town's inn operates during the evening. How are you? Good. And your name is? My name is Tyler. Tyler, what do you do? Um, I'm a server. Okay, great. Tyler, and hello. Hi, I'm Gage. Gage, nice what are you two doing out here? We are both servers. Come Sorry, in so I can talk to you. Where's the best place to hang this? I can hang it for you, sir. I mean, uh, if we didn't have these filthy hats laying around. I know. Why do we have filthy hats in the hallway? Mm, looks like so, a, looks like a thrift shop, sir. Thrift shop. How old are you guys? I am 17. I am also 17. 17. Objectively, what's wrong with this place? Well, I think that. We're not well organized. I also think that we need to work on cleanliness. Cleanliness? Yes. Wow, is it that bad? It can be. Uh, so what do you think is dirty? Well, uh, honestly, uh, probably you... the kitchen and uh, some of Why the Why are you going under the mat like that? What, 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 you what? asked what was dirty, so I mean, common things that we try to clean every day that we can't always keep an eye on. Show me where the kitchen is, please, yeah? OK. Thank you. What this happened is... here? Sarah likes to paint on the walls sometimes. Hello. Hello. Hi. What's this mess here? This is a painting, and I A didn't... what? A painting? <laughs> yes, it's like someone shot all over the wall. <laughs> is that hygienic? You're painting the walls of the kitchen? I have no idea. I you have no idea. So why did you do it? The town's end became Sarah's town's end, even though she had nothing to do with owning the establishment. Karen, did you see the mess in the kitchen? She's painted the wall. Let me show you something. Just oh, in here. Yeah. 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 Have, have you seen it? Yes. It's one of my favorite things. You don't it's like it? It's one of your favorite things. No, seriously. <laughs> I'm live, maybe not well. Did you see the mural in the dining room? What? That is a children assist in guests. That's unique, isn't it? What is that? Well, it started as a crack in the wall, and I asked Sarah to make a vine. Is there anywhere else you've painted? There is a... Uh... In my room. Can you show me, please? What have you done to my wall? This and is so weird. You paint over cracks. I Look know. at this here. I know, and this apparently is something new that is falling apart. Wow. I mean. It must be wet. Wet, it's soaking wet. The plaster's just. Whoa. <laughs> These are bits of card. That's correct. It was a temporary fix. So it's not a mural, it's business cards. 
You put your cards on here and then you paint over the cards. You should make a label for this. Decaying wall. Do not paint over it. I mean, what, what? the wall's rotten and you just go and paint over it. It was meant as a temporary fix. The wall is rotten. You're right. And you just paint over it. You can't just go filling cracks with tacky painting. Look at it down here. You've gone over cracks and holes. Look. Jeez. Ah. Uh, what's that in there? Um, I put some sort of a mesh because it was uh, a hole and I didn't want anything to come through it. Jesus. I wish you wouldn't use that word. What? Hole? What do you want me to sing? Fucking hallelujah. That'd be better. <coughs> can you get me Karen? I can get you Karen. Please? Jesus. Watch your language, sir. Miss Karen. Oh, my goodness. You know, the whole thing just started coming off. The wall needs repairing, and she's just painting over it. And then secondly, she found a big hole here, started putting her cards on there, and then painted over that. Mm -hmm. But inside the hole... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this is not a paper mache <laughs> What is she doing to your hotel? It doesn't then... go outside. I mean, it's not a hole to the outside. It's not a hole to the outside? No. What does no. that mean? The stone wall is out there. Oh, we're sleeping on the inside. We're not sleeping on the outside. Right. So you're not going to get any cold drafts or anything through there. So it's just like I don't get to use the wardrobe and the hole's on the inside, not on the outside, and we can just do whatever we want? Oh, it's She's solid. stuffing... It's really solid. It needs and it's stone out there. Yeah, we can't just paint over that. Well, you can. You we did, can... but... And then stick Brillo pads in a hole. You can't just band-aid this place. Oh, my good God. I just wash my hands. An order of French bread as an app. All right. Um, what is that there, a sports bar? Are these TV screens? What are those? Microwaves. microwaves. How many microwaves have you got? Well, there's four, four here and one in there, that's five. There's one five microwaves? There. There's one in there. And two chefs? Two chefs. Oh, my God. Everywhere I turn, there's just junk everywhere. Well, this is cooking stuff. Trust me, I know what cooking stuff is. This is not cooking <laughs> stuff. OK. How does this kitchen function? Give me a little tour. It's, it's very challenging. It's very, very challenging. What's that in there? That's a burger that I'm heating up. A boil? Yeah. You're boiling a burger? I'm just heating it back up. When you say heating it back up, why aren't you cooking it from fresh? We make them ahead of time. This is what we got here. We don't... A boiled burger? Are you aware the burgers are boiled? Um, no. Do you think your customer would want a burger boiled in water? They seem to like them. Just taste the water. Oh, do I have to? I'm going to say <laughs> it's funny. Not... You won't taste it. Well, OK. Well, I just... Tastes like water with beef in it. That seems OK. When they fix it up on a nice Kaiser roll with lettuce, tomato, oh, onion... Oh, come on. I need a tong, please. I need a set of tongs, ah, please. Ah, shit. No, this is a joke. This oh, is yeah. terrible. Every Boiled day. burger. I'm appalled to learn that the town's inn boils pre-cooked burgers. Oh, Brenda, well, just show me the table with the boat. And what's more frustrating is how Karen doesn't think there is anything wrong with that. Come with me two seconds. I'm quickly show you something. Perfect. Let me take, take it that. For me? Absolutely. So that's your burger. Out of respect as a customer, yeah. uh, I'm not going to sit and watch you eat that shit. Let me show you. So, to so the chef? Yes. Can you just explain how you cook that? We pre-cook it. No, start from the top, please. I'm we, not going to let you eat that. We um, pre-cook them. You made the burger when? Um, Gia, when were your burgers made? Yesterday, I believe. Yesterday. Just explain how you reheated them for the gentleman. I reheated them, I put, I put water in there, and I put the burger in there. Were you expecting a fresh burger or some yeah, shit reheated from yesterday? Fresh, yes. I will give you a fresh burger. My okay. apologies. Uh, Thank you. I'm sorry, sir. OK. This ticket refused their food. OK. Young man. I had respect for our guests. Take the ladies outside and show whether we keep the freezers again. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, just bear with us for two minutes, but yes. we're going to show you something I'd, I'd like done. you to see. Yes. So just follow me. This is just right down here. Watch your... Out here? Yes. Um, right here next to the trash, yes. Um, this is our lasagna. 
is our trout. We got more sausage, ice cream. These are your egg rolls right there. Yes, yes ma'am, yes ma'am. We've got two freezers and everything's scattered. Very cluttered. I mean, Karen has always uh, looked at this as her home. Obviously it is embarrassing, but it's a serious situation that needs to be solved. You okay? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's, it's okay. But I think I, what, what? I just canceled my order. My apologies. I discovered that today, okay. and I, out of respect for you as customers, I can't sit here and fake you eating that shit. So I'm hoping that you can skip around the menu and order something a little bit more. Thank you. Keeping. My apologies. Thank you. Thank you so much. Didn't you have purple glasses earlier? Yeah. They are. They oh, that is so cool because they look like they're dark brown or black. Oh, they had the yeah, light. Black. That is so cool. This is insane. Yeah. Sarah claims to work at the Townsend. Here's a free postcard for everybody. When I go to serve tables, she'll randomly show up. We'll talk to tables. Um, I've seen her frustrate people. Sarah. No. Miss Sarah. Is someone calling me? I have to go. No. Me. Fine. Yes, sir. They don't need to hear your life story. They want to sit and have a romantic drink on the terrace. Leave them alone. Okay, I'm, I'm leaving you. In and out. There are okay. other tables. Man. Okay. We're going to need a rotisserie chicken. That's the rotisserie chicken. You get it from the freezer. Sure. Yep. Disgusting. Displaying the rotisserie chicken, please. Show the table. Yeah. This is the dish of the day. It's our rotisserie chicken. It was roasted six months ago in a grocery store, and we're serving it for twelve dollars. On the menu, it's got rotisserie chicken. Yeah. You Cut buy them. them at a grocery store. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you freeze them, and you reheat them in the microwave. Not in the microwave. It went in the microwave. What is going on here? Well, we have a menu, and we just do it. I mean, no, it's just pathetic. How many of your guests tonight think that their chicken's been roasted in house? Maybe. Yeah. Let's just let me come in and let's, mm -hmm. let's double check. Ladies and gentlemen, so sorry, I can just have your attention for 30 seconds. How many of you, if you're going to order the roast chicken this evening, would expect it to be fresh, roasted in house? Could you raise your hands, please? I think it's everybody. A lot of people say it's it's good. I no. agree that it no, should these, be. The, 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 these yeah. guests have come out of their homes to come yeah. and eat. What I'm not going to do is attempt to pull the wool over their eyes because they deserve to know what's going on. The burgers were cooked yesterday, reheating the pan, boiling them in water, and I'm flabbergasted. So you need to take a real good look at yourself and stop bullshitting customers immediately. Otherwise, I'm out of here. I'm so sorry, but you, as customers, deserve better. And this has nothing to do with the TV program. I, I promise you now, it's based on the bad practices that's going on in that kitchen. So my apologies, but I'm not going to allow you to eat. You're not going to act responsible for it. I will. We're shutting it down. We're shutting it down. You just sent everybody home. Stop. Stop. That is possibly the worst thing I've seen so far. How do you reheat that? In the microwave. In the microwave. Doesn't even hit an oven. But we used to cook them fresh, right? So what what I changed? I wasn't here. Yeah, so what happened? Stop. I'm not serving it. Stop. What happened? Ask Karen. I ain't the one that bought the chickens. Uh, I have a rather have a rotisserie thing back here. I can have fresh chicken. We need but new equipment. This is what it's resulted in. Yeah. This is what we're serving. You can't buy this from a grocery store. No, you can't. Sprinkle it with pasta and expect to call yourselves a restaurant. I know what you I know what you're saying. And you just, like a butterfly, fly around just painting all little bits of shit over holes. This is insane. I'm done. I'm, I'm upset. I'm, I'm feeling sick. And I've never seen such a disgusting mess in all my fucking life. It's embarrassment to you, 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 and me. And I'm not going to stand there and watch you surf shit like that and take customers' money. What is this? I eat them often, the rotisserie. You they... eat them often? Mm -hmm. What does that say? I guess it's just that I don't. What does that mean to you? You eat this crap often. Come on. You're running a hotel. The burgers were cooked yesterday. Well, when I ate them, and I always tell them they tasted good to me. Oh, God. So... Where's the burgers that you cooked? Down here, sir. Get them. I, my understanding is he patting them out, 
and then put them in the oven. How long for? For about 15, 20 minutes. 15, 20 minutes in an oven. How many of your customers expect burgers to be cooked like that? Baked in the oven for 20 minutes, so there's no color on there. Cooled down, stuck in a Ziplocker bag, out, boiled in water. Should we go and do another survey? What's 80% Chuck? It's just you're a hamburger. You're in denial. You are seriously in denial. Miss Sarah, would you like a bite? No, thank you. Why not? It's not cooked right. Well, should I boil it up for you and get it warm? What color is that? It's white. That's what frustrates me. We're all pretending that this is good. I thought that's what the cooks... No. I mean... Come on. Not, I mean, I'm not trying to blame it on the cooks, you but... You can't blame it on me because ain't nobody hearing me. I'm amazed you're not shut down. Freezers lined up next to a dumpster. What lives outside in those passageways next to dumpsters? Bat, rats, and alley cats. Yeah, bats, rats, and mice. You are in denial. You have a big problem. You've got no idea that this place is crumbling. And you're just going through the motions. Mr. Ramsey, my guests want to leave. Your guests want to leave? Yes. That's the best thing I've heard all day. Can I fucking join them? Bye. 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 Are we serving food at all? Should I let no, them leave? Man. And we're in danger of even being shut down by the health authorities. And there is no fucking way I'm going to stand there yes, sir. and watch this shit being yes. reheated and served. So sorry, we're not moving forward.